gates open for you. Just be careful out there. Is there a problem here, friend? One of our scouting patrols has been gone for three days. No doubt those patrols met some darkspawn. Someone! That's a lot of blood. Don't even touch it. Your blood is black as sin and poisonous. I have bandages in my pack. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. I know. It's a long and painful way to die. It seems they left us one alive. A trap, perhaps? Either this is a trap, or the defenders of this place are idiots. I suspect both. The pain! What? It burns! Calm down, I'm just curious. I can feel it inside me! Uh-oh. I'm terrible at puzzles. <laughs> what is there to be puzzled by? That's not the best way to start a conversation. You mean that I should remark upon the weather before I cut off a man's head? Right. Kill first, ask questions later. Does the word insane mean anything to you? Keep moving. Something is wrong. Really? What kind of something? Because here's the thing. If there is anything you need to do in this village, I say do it now. I was getting there. It will not remain for long. And you left me no choice at all. Then why are we still talking? Because I don't agree that it was necessary. Talk after we get out of here. What are you going on about? Oh. I get it. You're not going to tell me. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? I am not here to satisfy your curiosity. Don't you ever talk? You know, make polite conversation, just... Do you always begin conversations this I'm way? I'm just asking what your intentions are. Somehow I'm not surprised. Maybe you intend Very to... Very well. Me a party. The blight. What? How will you end it? Now... There's a conversation I'm looking forward to. For someone so dismissive of questions, you ask a great many. We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. Is that all? How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? And I'm supposed to tell you everything? Let's see, where should I begin? Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too. And all I got was, you'll see. That is your answer. Well, I don't know where we should go. I suppose I could always flip a coin. Please stop looking at me like that. It's a wonder why you even speak sometimes. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. Yes. Where are the darkspawn, then? Right. But the truth is, we don't really know. They come up from the ground. And that's as far as we've gotten. Your grasp of the obvious is remarkable. Oh, fine, fine, have it your way. You have no sense of humor, you know that. If you hope to slay the Archdemon with wit, you may want to arm yourself first. All right, the treaties, the ones we got from Flemeth. With these, we will be able to ask for assistance. Maybe even raise an army. If you fail, preparation beforehand will have been pointless. And if you succeed, it will be by sheer chance anyway. We should gain a better understanding of the situation before rushing in. Will you make that excuse to the Archdemon? Or the victims it claims in the meantime? Well, what do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. I'm sure that comforts the farmers. Why do you keep looking at me like that, human? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. I have always fought in war, human. Well, goody for you. In any case, I did not come to console weepy Grey Wardens. Why don't you go run from the Blight like all the rest of your kind? I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. More words. And I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow, rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. Say that to the Templars at the bottom of the Circle Tower. See if they agree. You're a warden. We're loyal to the king here, and word from the north is the wardens betrayed King Caelan. Tan Loghain has a bounty on any who survived. Oh, wonderful. And here I thought I only had the Darkspawn to worry about. I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. Tan Loghain? Betray Merrick's boy? Bah, your story needs a bit of work. I don't know if you killed King Caelan, and make her forgive me, I don't care. 
but that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Wait a minute. No. Bad. Bad idea. Awful. Is this some sort of mass suicide? Stan, don't do me any favors. You want me to help you, but it's not my concern. You're the one who got me into this mess. Don't do it, because that idea? Bad. All kinds of bad. Yes, you're very persuasive. We're keeping the blight waiting. Have you ever been responsible for someone else's life? You are not responsible for them. Yes, because your motivations are clearly driven by your regard for others. They do not have the excuse of demons within them. Well, there's a cheery thought. What? I heard the stories of Ostagar. Your kith stood their ground when others fled. They stopped fighting for their own reasons. As the Kunari, we simply treat it as it deserves. Killing everything that moves isn't an option. It doesn't seem like it would be that hard to do better. Well, what is it to be then? I don't know. Something, anything. I can't think straight. Evidently not. Perhaps it should not be left to you then. Then you'd best clear out. No room here for any more outsiders. Yes, yes. Idle threat, retort, counter threat. I know. Are we done with this now? Stand aside. We will settle this. Defend yourself, Warden. Meaning what? Your weapon. Draw it. What? You can blink once in a while. I'll still be here. Let's not make things unpleasant. You seem to be able to slay things simply by staring at them hard enough. The way he looks at me with those eyes. Creepy. Then fight. You even talk about not talking. Let us try to work together for now. Could you destroy something as pretty as that Templar fellow? Rugged good looks, quick wit... No, he is an excuse. My mission is no different from the Grey Wardens. True, but if you're here, what does that make you? Some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Welcome to the club. Take a long look at our Grey Warden, my good friend. Right there, we have an object worthy of worship, no? I don't know if I'd go that far. Why not? I am sure you are a man who draws many stares from women and other men alike. I happen to be quite fetching in a dress. If you like, I could give you one. Perhaps my memory is failing. I would swear that I've already told you both to shut up. Now that's just unnecessary. Come, it will just be a small one. Shut up. You want to fight me? Just like that? I should let your weakness damn us all. Draw your sword. I'd use my shield if I could, but I think you might actually spot me hiding behind it. Your priests clearly should have spent more time training you. On that, we're in agreement. I don't think anything's supposed to be easy about being a king. Or a Grey Warden. Seriously, though. About all I've got going for me is I can fight in formation, and I know the chant of light backwards and forwards. Sad but true. I can't hardly get through a pillow fight these days without being overcome with guilt either. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Do you get the feeling... Things are just getting worse. Two arms, men! You know, there's something about being trapped in a fortress full of people who want me dead that makes me think, hmm, being a Templar might not have been so bad. Is that one of the patients? We're all going to get sick. Do not linger here unless you have received our mage's protection. See one of the healers instead. The mage? Oh, great. They just love me. <laughs> Perhaps you'd care to hear a proposal. I don't know. You did try to kill us all, remember? I see the Grey Wardens do not recruit fools. Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under oh. arrest. Oh, the anticipation is going to kill me. <sighs> How nightmarish to live in such a rural village. The only entertainment being priests who go on about the chant of this and that. The rules. Oh, so many rules. Just once I'd like to walk into one of these places and discover a, a lively dance, or a drinking festival, or an orgy. <laughs> I do forget that this is not Antiva City. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens. The colors! Poisoned! Colors. <laughs> Which I have failed at, sadly. Got anything for poison? Uh, let us continue on, then. <gasps> we can always discuss this more later. Whoa. <laughs> Dizzy. Uh, at any uh, rate, we should be on our way. A new day awaits now. us. Are you saying this is a, a dream? 
but it's so real. <laughs> you never know. These mages sneak up on you. Yes, I'm right with you on the never oh. know what's going to happen bit. My bruises are all bruised now. Ah, it's just old scars and nothing uh, more as you see. Oops. Ignore them as I do, and perhaps they'll go away. Why don't I believe you? Surely we can discuss things once we are away from here. Huh? I don't think I'll be coming. I don't want to spend my life fighting, only to end up dead in a pit along with rotting darkspawn corpses. I know, I know. Wait. Terrible. She gave me the strangest look. Like she was sizing up whether the cow was ready for slaughter. Unlike you, some of us know what honor and loyalty are. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? You think to impress me with Merrick's name? Bring them down! I think that's a corpse. Looks dead, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, part of Templar training back at the Chantry. Don't worry about it. Against a regular person, I'm just a guy in a metal suit. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest. Pull out! All of you, let's move! And Alistair. If you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the land's meet. Now wouldn't you? You hear about this son of Merrick? Yeah, and my Aunt Fanny's an Orlesian Chevalier. 